They inflate the price to P plus I, and then they try and sell it and export what they can't sell to the home market, which is why all countries have to export what they can't sell by the amount of the interest, because we do it to ourselves. So, you'll never be able to get rid of tariffs and tariff wars until you abolish interest. That's the reason for that. This is the actual graph of temperature over the last thousand years, and there's no hockey stick. There was a medieval warm period over four centuries when Greenland was green and they grew grapes in Britain. Now, what kind of idiot can believe it's warmer now than when Greenland was green? Think about it. They're making fun of you, okay? And they used a trip to hide the decline since 1998. This is the worst scam in scientific history using that trick to hide the decline from you. So it's getting colder, and it's not even a very big warm blip compared to the medieval warm period. So ha ha, smartest man on earth is telling you that this is not the warmest time in history. Thank you. This is my flyer for federal elections. It's got me, the organ grinder, the monkey with the lead software in front of the Bank of Canada's computer, and the party leaders who don't have a program. Who would you vote for, the monkey with the program or the party leaders without? So yeah, that's what I would do. I would install the leads in the Bank of Canada's computer. If that doesn't work, I'd set up a time bank. If that doesn't work, I'd pay kids with bus tickets. But most of all, we've got to stop these morons from wasting carbon taxes on something that's not a problem, okay? They lied to you. You still believe it? You still swallow it? They used a trick to hide a decline. It's colder now than 98, and these clowns are acting like it's warmer. Wake up! Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, let's me explain what they did in Argentina when they had their crash. The union said, no layoffs. You got no money? Forget bringing your bond to the bank to get bills to pay us, which we're going to spend and you can tax it back. We'll take small denomination bonds as a currency. And you don't have to pay interest to the banks. So in the 80s, six provinces started paying all of their provincial employees with provincial bonds that they could use for hydro taxes, medical, and licenses. Guess what? All their foreign debt got paid off in 2000. So, if you don't understand how reprogramming the Bank of Canada to work like it used to do it before 1974, and you don't understand how using bus tickets could do it too, and you don't understand how using time bank hours could do it too, we could use government bonds. $10 bonds that you can use for hydro, medical, licenses, and that's how we can pay off all of our foreign debt like Argentina paid off all of theirs. But why would we be as smart as them? I don't know, but so far I've been explaining this since 1985. Nobody gets it, but I keep trying. I'm an optimist. Well, again, the bonds is the greatest idea I've ever seen to pop a nation out of poverty into affluence. And it worked for Argentina, and it can work for us. Look, I'll pay my tax from army and police to handle strife. I'll pay my taxes for doctors, nurses who protect my life. I'll pay my tax for all my games from Harry Road to Sewer. I'll pay my tax for social servants helping out the poor. I'll even pay my tax for bureaucrats with no regret. I only object to paying tax for interest on debt. Thank you. Our next question is full employment for adults with bond bucks and time bucks, full employment for youth with bus bucks, and not wasting any money on global warming. Now why did they change the name to climate change? Who knows? Global warming stopped, so now they want to have it both ways. Look. Still fooled by trip to high decline, still Justin leads the way. I tried to stop climate from changing on his resume. Please. Now you people don't like being laughed at by someone who says he's I'm smarter than you and you're a bunch of morons. And I can understand how you feel. But just say it out loud. I want to stop climate from changing. 
I can understand from getting warmer or getting colder, but you want to stop it from changing. They make you into a stupid proposition from a previous rational one. If it was warming, it was good to stop it. But it's not warming, so now you just want to stop change. Duh. Thank you, John. Well, I am the only person in the country who was teaching assistant of Canada's only mathematics and gambling course for four years. Now you might not think that's too much, but being able to figure out and pick winners with math is a hell of an asset. How many people can pick a winner with math? Say, Mr. Spock could do it. He'd say, Captain, if you do this, plan A, you'll win two times out of ten. But if you go with plan B, four times out of ten. And Kirk goes, oh, I feel lucky I'm going with plan A. I relieve you of command. So the point is, the mathematics of gambling has changed the ability to determine the best move. And I possess that skill, or that talent, or that education. So I've got great software, is my point. Thank you, John. So how to punish youth who get into trouble? because they got no money, and they got no jobs. Well, yeah, you can develop more programs, and more courts, and more cops, and better laws, or you can give them a job and some money to spend. So they don't have to mug you, or steal from your car, or get into trouble. So, back to the solution, which is jobs for the youth, so that you don't need all these programs to punish your kids. So the solution again is to let those businesses open an interest-free account at the Bank of Canada. Like PayPal. How many people know about PayPal? Imagine you could walk, imagine you could, imagine you could log on to the Bank of Canada's computer, kids, and you could open an account for your parents. And then you could cut checks to pay off all their mortgages and interest-bearing debts with this new Bank of Canada CHIPS account you're using. Well, not all the payments go against principal, and someday your parents are out of debt. So, if you can get an interest-free account at the Bank of Canada for your parents that would work like PayPal to get them out of debt, same would work for businesses. The businesses, if they're not paying any interest for the loan sharks, are going to be better off. It's obvious. So, save all the interest, and then come and tell me if you've got any complaints left. Thank you, Jim. Very Jim. Boy, would I shake the place up. <laughs> How can full employment for youth, full employment for adults, not change your lives? You're not going to have to pay as much tax to support unemployed people. You're not going to have to pay as much tax to support the criminals who are trying to get the money they don't have because they don't have jobs. I mean, this has been done so many times in our history, and just recently, every time you have a church, Portugal, Russia, in the last 20 years, you can all go find this software. They talk about Lex, the first time that software, that all these crash communities all start up. I finance this software. That's why I'm so proud of it. It's my baby. And someday, I'm going to be famous because of this software. I know it. They're still talking about it now, 34 years after it came out in 1984. So, you think I don't get a real charge when I hear a crashed economy? Oh, we're starting a community currency. And they talk about the Let's from Burnaby, Canada, the first one ever. Mine. So, there are so many alternate, look, look at bus bucks, do that, and that'll work, because even the stores and animals will take them. Time dollars and the time bank, everybody needs babysitting. What happens is the mechanic starts taking well, three hours per hour, the dentist starts taking ten hours per hour. Am I not the original guy with two minutes? Yeah. All right. Wow. And so basically a support network grows around these people. So I've suggested three or four different working alternatives that can be set up. And if they ever were, you would see a huge change in your living conditions. 
John the engineer. Good engineering is what I'm promising. Thank you, John. Mary Jean. Well, there's nothing much I can add. I'm sorry. You know all the programs. I've mentioned them all. How many times has it been a shortage of money that's caused the problem? And every time I have to say, well, they don't know what to do about not enough money. But I know what to do about not enough money. They can try this model, this model, this model, this model. Matter of fact, if you look at my registration, I put down banking systems engineer as my profession because I spent the last 40 years advocating for upgrading the Bank of Canada's computer software. You understand? This is not something hard. It's the switch of a disk. It's a software upgrade. You've all seen Mr. Spock do it umpteen times on Star Trek. Save a whole planet. He didn't need me help from the slows. He did it alone. Well, that's what the world is like now. I just got to get there with my monkey, slide the next disc over to the things on the works. John, I now invite you to make your two-minute closing statement. Well, I'm not really offering myself up. I'm offering up my software. Back in the Sheila Cobb spy election in 1996 with this headline, Super Loser Fails Again, I kept saying, I don't even get elected. I just need one person with a brain to go pick up the software and do it yourselves. Now, no candidate has ever caught on. No opposing candidate ever caught on. But exactly one month after that insulting headline, Hamilton Health Self-Help Group starts up Hamilton Lead System. Mission accomplished. So I did create some employment in Hamilton, even if I didn't get elected. Now, everything I've said tonight, I'm willing to bet on. Okay? I'm willing to bet anybody that it's warmer, it's not warmer now than when Greenland was green. Anybody want to make a hundred dollar bet that it's warmer now than when Greenland was green? Of course not. Yet they still keep stuck in the law. And I'm not happy about that. And I'm insulted when I point out that I got a science degree, 100% in physics, and I don't see no warming. And they still see me got to pay a carbon tax. You pay a carbon tax. I'm not interested. Now, you can Google for Great Canadian Gambler. I come up. And if you ever saw the movie Rounders with Matt Damon, Every card game's got its guy that's called a professor. Well, I was called the professor at the Trump Taj Mahal in the Rounders movie because I was the great white shark took the biggest bites out of your bankroll when you went up against me. So, they are going to rape your kids with high interest rates. It's coming. Don't you feel it? This is not like the 1980s. Remember the big layoffs? 10,000 at a time. We get through that. It's happening again to your kids, your grandchildren, as it happened to you. And guess what? I think you all deserve it. Thank you, John.